In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for SbCl5. First thing we need to do, count up the valence electrons. Sb, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, 5 valence electrons. Chlorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, 7 valence electrons, 5 of those chlorine atoms. And then this 2 minus up here, when we have this 2 negative, that means we have 2 extra valence electrons. So we have a total of 42 valence electrons for the SbCl5 2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element at the center, that's the Sb, and then we'll put five chlorine atoms around it. We'll put a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's going to form our chemical bond. So at this point, Sb has 10, that's okay, it can have an expanded octet. Then we'll complete the octets on these chlorine atoms here. So at this point, we've used 40 valence electrons, the Sb, that has its expanded octet. Each chlorine has an octet. We still have two valence electrons and we have to put them somewhere. So we're going to put those on the central Sb. And let's make them a slightly different color just so we can see them there. Let's also replace these electrons, the bonding electrons between atoms, with lines. That should also help. So that's a little clear. Because we have an ion, we need to put brackets around the whole thing. And then we'll put the charge out here. So this is the Lewis structure for SbCl5 2 minus. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry. Remember we have five chlorine atoms and one lone pair. So we had five chlorine atoms, one, two, three, you see how they spread out, four, five. So at this point, we have this trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry, but we've got to add our lone pair. When we do that, we end up with this, what we call a square pyramidal molecular geometry. You can see the 90 degree bond angles, the right angles, and then those bond angles between atoms, they're also 90 degrees. So the lone pair, that occupies space, and that gives us this square pyramidal molecular geometry. If you were to look at the electron geometry, you'd count the lone pair here and these other atoms. That would be octahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure here. If you were using the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for SbCl5 2 minus, A is the central atom, X, those are the atoms around that central atom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then E, that would be the lone pair. We have that lone pair right here. So AX5E1, and if you look that up, that'll be the square pyramidal as well. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and Lewis structure for SbCl5 2 minus. Thanks for watching.